week's disclosure that the National Security Agency, for at least five years under the Obama administration, systematically violated Americans' Fourth Amendment rights. I don't know what the particular, I, I have not been briefed on the particular case that they are referencing. In declassified documents first obtained by the news outlet Circa, the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court scolded NSA for an institutional lack of candor and added sternly, this is a very serious Fourth Amendment issue. House Oversight Committee Chair Jason Chaffetz told Fox News the documents documents appear to show the Obama administration routinely abused the NSA's internet surveillance tools. We must get answers and hold people accountable. Fellow Utah Republican Chris Stewart sits on the Intelligence Committee. Do you think someone should go to prison for that? Well, if they violated it and they did it knowingly and they avoided or, or, or ignored processes and procedures to protect that privacy, then absolutely they should be held accountable. The FISA court said the new Attorney General Jeff Sessions and Director of National Intelligence Dan Coats enacted reforms that will quote, largely resolve NSA's so-called compliance problems. Civil liberties groups said the disclosures should factor into lawmakers' decision at year's end about whether to reauthorize the NSA collection program that witnessed the abuses. But I don't think that this is um, a problem that is going to be resolved with just an investigation by the Department of Justice. What we have are authorities that were broadly drafted that allow surveillance that is concerning. The agencies are pushing for reauthorization of this authority, but they can't even identify the scope of the impact on U.S. persons that these programs have. The sheer scale of the Fourth Amendment violations disclosed is staggering, as was the sternness of the rebuke to the Obama administration delivered by the FISA court, which ordinarily approves 99.9% .9 of the government's requests for surveillance. As of a few minutes ago, however, Brett, this story had not been covered on the Washington Post, the New York Times, nor any of the three nightly news broadcasts on the three broadcast networks. Pretty amazing. We will cover it with the panel. James, thank you. Former President Obama is